Greetings, Dr. Jeff Spencer here for a very special nighttime. Nighttime, it's not nighttime. It's 2.50 a.m. It's actually the next day. I guess I stand to be corrected. Well, anyhow, this is Dr. Jeff Spencer saying welcome to a very early morning edition and tactic of the Champion's Blueprint. And what a day this has been. It's been one long day. I've actually lost track of time. I'm not sure even what day this is. I mean, quite honestly, it's been that kind of a rush rush last several days, but we had a very difficult and challenging day today. We had six of our nine riders involved in crashes. It was a very fast and flat day. One of the riders actually clocked their speed at 112 miles an hour, 112 kilometers an hour going downhill, if you can imagine that, in a peloton of 200 riders, banging elbows and hitting each other from the back and from the front. Absolutely terrifying. And unfortunately, one of our riders crashed. He had a laceration above his right eye and also cracked his collarbone and unfortunately we heard the one word that you never want to hear in this event which is abandon which means that the rider has been injured to such an extent that he cannot continue and that's a big tragedy not only for the rider but also for the team for the rider it is a lifetime of aspiration and hope and preparation basically gone in an instant by no fault of his own and such is life's fate i mean that's the way that it is and how does one answer the why question in circumstances like this when you can't dissect it to find a why? That's sometimes the way life is. And also on the team's side of the aisle here, the team has not just lost a teammate, but the team has lost a friend and a family member. And I think we've all experienced in our lives where we lose someone that we dearly love through our fingertips. And no matter how much we want to hang on to it, we just cannot do it. No amount of goodwill, no amount of good thoughts will ever prevent that person from slipping through our fingertips because that's just not the way that the book has been written and that's a very difficult thing to be able to reconcile and the loss of that in terms of our side to them is incalculable in terms of the loss for their ambitions and their dreams and their hopes and their aspirations and their goals and their commitment to the team also is basically devastating so really what this tactic is all about is how does one move through tragedy when one has that and that's a very important skill to learn because we not only need to move forward with now's life now, but we also need to pay the right respect to the process of what once was that no longer is. And that's a very difficult thing to do, but it's also a very important skill to be able to master. And what the champions do, they run basically two parallel tracks to this. The one track is, is that they know that they have to keep life moving forward. They need to honor their obligations and their calendar and when they do that that's a sign of respect to the privilege of the honor of the trust of people that are pre-scheduled to be able to follow through with them and we certainly know that the people or the circumstances that we are mourning the loss for would want us to be able to move forward with 100 embracing of every life opportunity in front of us 100 percent without any reservation whatsoever or hesitation that's what they would want for us for sure no question about that so it's important that we keep that path moving parallel with the human side of it where we appropriately mourn the loss and look to reconcile the experience. I mean, there's always gonna be a million questions about every tragedy that we face, whether it's human or whether it's some other circumstances about, you know, why did this happen? I wish I would have done this. I knew at the time I should have done it. I could have done things better. I mean, these things swirl around in our head basically forever. And what's important there is that working this human side of the equation out takes as long as it takes. It could take a week, it could take a month, it could take years, it could take decades. It takes as long as it takes. And it's really important that we honor the here and now life process to be able to move forward guilt-free, to be able to brace and honor life's prospect and its opportunity and others while we're working this other side out. So as we're working both of these tracks together, not waiting for the one to resolve before we move forward, as a matter of fact, in moving forward with honor and dignity with the pre-obligations that we have actually helps us heal from this other side that we're dealing with. And ultimately, that's the fastest way to resolve both of those uh, pre-existing situations simultaneously in the least amount of time and effort, but also, more importantly, with the greatest dignity and the greatest respect. And that's basically what the champions do. So whenever you find yourself in this situation, which you and I both will, Many times throughout a lifetime, we need to honor the process of life as it is in the here and now with our obligations and our futures and our hopes and our now dreams, while we also reconcile with love, appreciation, gratitude, and passion the relationship or the tragedy that we are now leaving behind. And that's really what the champions do, and that's how we 
move forward with honor and dignity in creating our legacy. So this is Dr. Jeff Spencer saying, with great admiration, appreciation, and passion, you have given me a purpose to be able to get up every day. And for that, I'm grateful too, and I will honor that to the highest degree. So until our next interface and our next tactic from the Champions Blueprint, this is Dr. Jeff Spencer saying, as always, ride big and ride strong.